Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today, you get some videos when you basically work quickly review to Una concerning some issues when you basically we get for her right now for inside this country. You know, this morning we make a publication when you basically the United States of America they even say they're not going to sell ammunition, which is arm. To Nigeria again, just because of say they understand say that they use this ammunition against the citizen. Now the reason why they say would they bring this news they cannot pass. They say why it be say we the Nigerians now we they do pass ourselves. Why it be say we when it be say the something they affect now we they try to show ourselves say now we they good pass. Why? This very video, it they come from the this man when he be say he did for the southeast when he be say he they produce car innocent. Yes, we now know this very man. Now this same man, first of all, watch this very video before we come with analysis. The community policing initiative of the Nigerian Police Force is getting support from governments at all levels, corporate bodies, and private individuals. This time, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, received three operational vehicles donated by Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited to the police force in support of its ongoing efforts at repositioning the force for optimal performance. The vehicles, Innocent G12 Series, which consists of the single cabin pickup truck MS1, double cabin pickup truck MS2, and the SUV MS3 were presented to the police by Jonas Madwa Buchuku, on behalf of Innocent Chukuma, the chief executive of Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited, in furtherance of the company's community support initiative and other efforts directed in making the country peaceful. These vehicles are donated to the Nigerian Police Force by Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited to help serve as troop carrier for operational purposes and the combat of crime to keep Nigeria safe. It's part of our communal support and building the bridges that connect us in making sure that the country is in peace. The police chief represented by the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Department of Operations, the IG Abdul Majid Ali, noted that with public support of this nature, the Nigerian police will no doubt be able to meet its operational and infrastructural needs in combating crimes and criminality in the country. We want to assure you that we are going to use those vehicles judiciously. We use it, this is what we call Nigerian's content. The vehicles are made here, are produced here, and we are using them here. Being knowing the, the drugged terrains we have, and definitely it's going to be of importance to Nigerian police. I want also to assure you that this is just the beginning. The police will patronize you, and police will take you as partners in this fight against insurgents and banditry. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say, all of us don't watch that very video. Now, the reason why they say we bring this very news come, not pass the news when they say we read this morning, where America, they reject to set arms for Nigeria government. This one, a country when they say, they need money. They are placed there, okay. No consign them. Anything when it be say if they happen for another country. In as much as they will make their own money from that business when it be say they need to do. But these people choose to reject the money and the offer just because of the sake of waiting Nigerians they go through for Nigeria today. And most especially, which people they go through this stress for this country. If you look at very well, Majority of them are for the southeast, and now where this man, this innocent day, now he be this. Now, for all this, when it happened, this man, he comes to federal government, say, he not there among the people when he be say, if they follow IPOP, they agitate. He no, he no follow IPOP, he no know IPOP people. I be, now, now, what is significant? I be this very one. For him to the see, say that they key in people every day, and from there, he they donate motor vehicle, police vehicle to these people, make the city continue to the kill people, which is to say, he they sell people out. This man are among the sell out for the Igbo land. Sorry, 
I use that very word because now what you go do, what you do, now it will determine how what they talk to you. Yes. How can you imagine? About three days ago, now the issue when it happened for this enemy uh, community for Enugu State happened. When it say about 21, I poke member now the key. All because of say they say they meet them for whether in a community secondary school or however, say that they train they says they just they train no. Now the, 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 that's Nigeria police invade that land and kill 21 IPOP member. This one are Southeast people. Not be the one when be said that they kill on daily basis. Not be the one when be said hey, that they kill on daily basis. Nigeria federal government not do anything regards to these people. And now you they donate another equipment to these same police forces to make sure say, they destroy your people the more. My people, share this one if they good. We just say, maybe we can't tell Una say whether it did good. If we talk to this man, they will say, oh, Una tell the tell they could be, make Una watch this very thing by Una self now. If international body, if he refuse money, say they not going to give Nigeria arm because say the federal government of Nigeria decided to say they want to use this arm to the key their own citizen. Now, the uh, Southeast man now, uh, when he be saying supposed to even stand up to support or even defend his own land, now he now uh, they give out of free will. He no need money. Take, kill my people for me. Now he be this very one. My people say, now good thing. If we say me we further emphasize on this issue, now this say he no song. Now the House of uh, Assembly, at the House of Representatives, refuse his own products. During this beginning of this 2020, when they said they said they want buy Camry 2020 product model, they reject them. All the lawmakers that go outside the country go import vehicle come. Now still under this federal government. Now if they do na me no pass, na me do pass. Abi. All right, my people. I say maybe we they open and follow them. The secret is only be said that they say that they do. We they sell them. Yes, we they sell them. All right, my great and wonderful people, we will leave Unana Mekuna share on our opinion with us on the comment section. As we leave Unana Mekuna watch this next video, when we say it they come from Idris Adukarim, the one when we say it they talk concerning this Amoteku, when the federal government say now nah, they will decide what thing will they happen for this community policing outfit. You just hear what thing it get to talk concerning this issue. We will come back for the conclusion. Don't want Amoteku to stay. And this individual who don't want Amateko to stay, I've sold the Yorubas to the Fulanese. And these individuals are doing it only for their own selfish interests. I want to call on all the Yoruba kings. I want to call on all Omo Udu Agongo, Omo Yoruba Gidi. Don't let anybody lie to you. Ganyu Adams, Iba. Ganyu Adams is the only Yoruba that I know that has Owomo Ugu, that has soldiers, soldiers, like six million soldiers that can take care of Amatekun. And we will know that it's not politicized. So if anybody come out and say they want to bring neighborhood watch to come and become a Amatekun, just know say na, na 419, don't be Amatekun, be that one. And we are calling on Lagos State Governor so quickly, 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 pass the Amoteko into law before it's too late. Southwest Governor, Shea Makinde, we thank you, we love you, Shea Makinde. Um, on those state governor, um, King, King White, on those state governor, Akere Delu, Akere, uh -huh. Akere Delu has, um, has, uh, has passed it into law as an endorsed and launched Amoteku. So, don't let anybody politicize it, you know. And you know, I don't know what you want in the world. It is a book. I don't know. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of us don't hear that great one from Idris Adu Karim. The reason why they say the federal government they fight this man and everyone when they say they talk the truth, not simple as this very one. The key word when they say this man talk just now, when they say we hold strong, not pass, they say anybody. When he be say he no support Amotekun, na enemy of Yoruba land. This one, we want liken this word to the action when he be say this innocent carry out just now. When he be say he take go donate those vehicle.
to the police force. Not be bad thing you do on a normal sense. Say peace day. Not be bad thing, a good thing. Now he, he do. But now when he be say he know, say problem day. That they kill he people on daily basis by this same police force. And he go ahead to carry out this action. Which is to say this man na enemy of the southeast. Not be only enemy of the Ipo, uh, Ipopo. No, not be the enemy of only the Ipop. The enemy of the Southeast. Not this kind of people, neither be. He won't make money, Abi. He won't get influence of the federal government. He won't go, get influence of the Hausa Fulanis so that they will think, say, na he do pass. We know their sets. We know their stand. That will not be the issue. But we just won't make all the Nigerians, when they be said they never understand who these people be, make that they understand them one after the other. All right, my great and wonderful people, I will still live with make and watch this next video when they be say if they come from this governor of Ondo State, Akiri Dolu, who will come back for the conclusion. At least when civil defense started, they were not carrying arms. They didn't allow them to carry arms. But a case was made at the end of the day. Today they carry arms. I'm sure a Motekun case gradually will be like that. We're going to make the case. Well, Your Excellency, it appears as though uh, the IGP isn't bulging. And now we know that there's a community policing uh, idea they're pushing. And, and, and I'm wondering, what if in the in eventuality that the IGP says, well, this is not going to happen except you collapse Amotekun into community policing? then would you just leave Amotekun to be handicapped in court for the time being? What are you going to do, really? I, I've said this. I said it clearly. We, let me repeat it. We will not collapse Amotekun to community policing. Amotekun will start on his own. There is a law creating this, this uh, Amotekun uh, setup, this security setup. So it's not going to be collapsed. There is no, no, there is no intimidation. We are not people that can be intimidated, and we are not people that the IG will give order to. It's not possible. We will not collapse it. I've said so. There's no need for us to 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 belabor this issue. We will not. But all we say is that if he's prepared, we are prepared to discuss with him. Let us discuss on this matter. Amotekwe is different. Community police is different. Amotekun will collaborate, all of us will collaborate together. The issue now that is left is, is about carrying arms. And we say we will pursue this and make them understand at the end of the day. If the IG now does not understand, it will leave one day. Well, another IG will come, other people might understand. If he doesn't want to understand, we are not forcing him to understand. We are saying, let us hold discussion. But if, if they come out, I want to repeat every time about I'm I'm I mean like an, something that is they, they feel irritated about. It's not fair. It's not fair. We have taken them through this of what what Amotekun is all about, and the state have gone ahead. We have our laws. We are, will live by that law and abide by it. And if anybody feels otherwise, let him go to court and challenge the law. There's no need. There's no need for us to to bicker on this matter. And we are saying with all sense of responsibility that we Amotekun will stay. And we will go ahead to negotiate. That's what I'm saying. We'll discuss with the police on issue of arms. And at the point in time, just like they did with the civil, uh, civil defense, and a few other, other uh, paramilitary or military or police uh, security today that are carrying arms, I know the time will come. But if we say no, I said we are prepared to continue to use non prohibited arms, at least with our blood and everything to secure the lives and properties of our, of our people. That's all. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say so, Una don't watch that very video from the governor of Undo State, where he named na Akiri Dulu na Imbi, that very one. You see the strength and the energy, even from the beginning of this uh, initiation or the commission of this uh, outfit, Amotekun, now, so this man stand head tall, even up to this moment. And I pray, may God Almighty begin to strengthen this man and everything when he be say he put his hand. And everybody when he be say he there around this man, when he be say he's still the ginger, this man. 
Because my people always they talk and say, if I are not they come back, you know they roast. I believe say not be only in own power. People still they when they be say yes, they stand the bar for the back of this man. When it be say till today, this man still remain on bow to the pressure from the federal government to submit this Amotekun to their own hand, may they control. Now, I so much like the word when he say he talk in the midst of his own conversation for this very interview. He say, if they let me they continue, say one day, one day, if this inspector general of police say he no will give up for the sake of this Amotekun, one day, one day he go go. Yes, soja go, soja come. But Baras remain the same. <laughs> you see, wonderful. Yes, Inspector General of Police Adamu. <laughs> you go go, you go come out. Yes, but that one not me say the governor no see come out. Now people be the soil of this uh, Yoruba land. Yes, it did in day when it be say they found the land. Even till tomorrow and years to come, they still remain there. The kings. They still remain there. Now, only the tenant. I believe, say, if uh, Buhari administration don't come out right now, Adamu they will still find a way now. Unless they still bring another Buhari man a come. When they say they will still retain these people like the service chiefs. Because nothing, when they say they don't do. But one thing, when they say we they are assured of, say, one day be one day, they will still find their way out. Either with their own life or with dead body. Now, so he rich. All right, my great and wonderful people. We just want to use this moment to really appreciate each and every one of you. I want to be say a day with us up to this moment. God Almighty will bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I beg we won't beg we not say we don't come, come make innocent, popular, or any other person share this video so that our Nigerians we will understand who be who for inside the struggle. Now, the reason why we say we they bring some certain video, we know say. They know their words to publish. They know their words. But make Nigerians understand who be who for this struggle. Because we believe on one thing, say information, not power. As you do so, God Almighty will bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We would like to draw the curtain of this program here. Now we will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.